Good morning, or good day. <laughs> um, today is Friday, November 20th. Let us join together in our daily devotions by calling on the name of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Sanctify us in your truth. Your word is truth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us join together in the prayer of the day. Almighty God, graciously behold your servant, for whom the Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and delivered into the hands of sinful men to suffer death upon the cross. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Our scripture lesson for today is taken from Matthew the 28th chapter. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who is crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to, to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Here ends our scripture lesson for today. What a moment! The women go to the tomb, and there they experience a great earthquake, and hear and see a dazzling announcement from an angel that Christ had risen. They were invited to see his former resting place and sent with instructions to transmit this glorious message to the disciples. Of course they left with fear and great joy, running to tell the disciples, and on their way they meet Jesus. Now they know it is true. And Jesus stays with them on earth for 40 more days so that there be no doubt that this was real. Christ truly had defeated death and sin. Yet, as some of his disciples came and met with him and they saw him, they doubted. Here we see a continued problem and why Jesus had to come and die in the first place. Sin is always trying to place doubt and unbelief in our hearts, but Christ does not turn them away. He reassures them, pulling them away from their sin and towards him. And he gives them the authority to go out into all the world in his name, promising he will never leave them, and in the same, promising that he will never leave us. Let us pray together. Lord, erase all doubt within our hearts that we may follow you where you lead us. 
Amen. We continue with the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God's blessings on the rest of your day.